This lentil loaf recipe screams deliciousness, comfort, and is the perfect recipe when you are having a gathering. This could be used for Christmas, it can be used for family, birthdays. This recipe, you're gonna honestly love it, friends. Okay friends, this lentil meatloaf recipe could not honestly be easier. Dozen ingredients here, super simple to make this, super flavorsome, wholesome, comforting, you name it, this lentil meatloaf is a must make for yourself. So it is all about your oven, so you better be preheating your oven straight away to 180 degrees Celsius. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna fry up some of these items and then we're gonna blitz them all together to start on our lentil loaf. So let's spin around and go to the fry pan. So here we have all our veggies here. What we've got, we've got one brown onion diced up, we've got one cup and a quarter of mushrooms diced up, two carrots diced up, half a cup of red capsicum, and then a couple garlic cloves minced up. So this meal is super wholesome and super easy to make. It is the perfect comfort meal, it is the perfect family feast, it is perfect for Christmas, it is honestly perfect on any occasion. Honestly, I hope you love the look of this one and the sound of how easy this is, and I really hope you give this a shot. All we're gonna do at the moment is brown up our veggies, let it cool down for a little bit, and then we're gonna blitz it up with a bunch of other ingredients from before. We've whacked in those cooked veggies. Now it's just a case of chucking in all your other ingredients into a food processor. We're gonna blend this up till it's nice and smooth, incredible texture, and could not be any simpler, friends. So we've got two cups of brown lentils here. So I just used a can of brown lentils, drained it, rinsed it, and chucked it in here. So just two cups of lentils from the can. Three tablespoons of tomato paste here. Two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. We've got two tablespoons of ground flax meal here as well. This is just gonna help bind it up a little bit better. One tablespoon of dried parsley here. If you've got fresh parsley, definitely chuck that in. Parsley is fantastic for this recipe. Then we've got one cup of rolled oats here. Half a cup of breadcrumbs also. So we're just gonna blend this up until the texture is nice and smooth. You can also add in a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Here it is, friends. We've got a very nice, soft texture on this mixture. This honestly looks fantastic. It smells delicious as well. So don't stress if you haven't binded it up completely. It just adds to the texture. You just want it mostly 90% mixed up. You want a very smooth texture for your lentil meatloaf. Now we're gonna actually form it into a loaf what I find the best way to do this is using a bread tin. I've just chucked some baking paper around it so it's easier to pull out at the end. If you do not have a bread tin, just use a regular baking tin and just form it and mold it into that loaf. So now that we've got it in that tin, we're just gonna flatten it, smooth it out a little bit and kind of make a nice shape for your loaf. And then what we're gonna do next is chuck on that beautiful glaze. You want the glaze going down the side, so definitely all about forming this perfectly. So here is the completed loaf. So what you wanna do, as I said, you wanna have a little bit of a gap around your edges so that glaze seeps down on the sides. It is honestly perfect when it is covered in that glaze and getting all the sides as well. Now for your glaze, a very simple, sweet, delicious glaze. I feel like a um, lentil loaf, the best part is that glaze. A third of a cup, half a cup of tomato sauce, you wanna cover it 
all of this and then what we're going to do we're going to put over some brown sugar all over this as well so you want to ensure that the tomato sauce is all around the grooves just press it down the sides making sure it's getting all over your lentil loaf and finally the brown sugar is going to give it some extra sweetness So that is ready to go in the oven now. So we're gonna chuck it in for about half an hour, 35 minutes, and then we're gonna just top up that glaze a little bit more and then cook it for a further 15, 20 minutes. Here it is, friends. So cooked it in the oven in stages. Want to cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes. First stage, put on some more tomato sauce and brown sugar for that glaze. And then you want to cook it for a further 15 to 20 minutes. All depends on whether you preheat your oven and your oven. I cannot stress this enough. Everyone's oven's different. Please play around with this a little bit, but this smells and looks incredible. Just chucked it out of my oven tray and check out that friends how amazing does this look what you're going to do once it's out of the oven you're probably going to wait another like maybe 10 15 minutes the longer you wait the firmer this mixture will get definitely hold your horses but you can try a little bit to see what this texture is like that is looking fantastic so as i've already said this is a perfect recipe for family and friends coming over christmas this is a perfect christmas roast alternative making your own very wholesome very delicious and that glaze honestly friends mwah. chef's kiss it is fantastic it is all about that glaze please Definitely do try out this recipe. I'll chuck the recipe in the comment section below for you to save and enjoy later and over and over again. Friends, this recipe has to be one of my best recipes. I know you're going to love it. I always love hearing your reaction and your responses to my recipe. So please let me know how you go with this lentil meatloaf recipe. Whilst you are here, I highly recommend checking out this recipe right here that you're gonna honestly love just as much as this lentil meat loaf. So until next time, friends, enjoy your lentil meat loaf and I'll catch you very, very soon.